Here is our phone system. Obviously we've got the one phone right here in our control room and then there's the other phone right there in the simulation room. Once we pick up this phone, you might be able to hear that it rings in the simulation room. They pick it up and then they can speak with whomever uh, and it works vice versa, right? So if you're in the sim room and you pick up that phone, it'll ring in the control room here. The one drawback to this system is that it is a closed circuit phone. There is no way for the conversation that's happening between the control room and the person in there to be sent uh, elsewhere. Uh, so right now all of our cameras and microphones are in the sim room. All you're going to hear is the student talking to the control room. You'll never hear the control room's voice. The way this works, everything is just wired in and it's wired together. The phones are literally wired together and they're powered through the wall just like any other phone system uh, is. It's gonna draw 60 volts or so, or 40 to 60 volts, excuse me, from the wall. Once it picks up, it's gonna drop down to about eight volts or so. We have a method of doing this with a nine volt battery, but you won't be able to make the phones ring, but it does make the system portable. I will post what it looks like behind our wall with the phones. You'll see that screen cap shortly, and then I'll show how we can do this with a nine volt battery. To make a portable system, you're gonna take, get an RJ11 um, phone jack. You can just buy at Home Depot, Lowe's, whatever your, whatever your hardware store uh, of choice is. You will need a nine volt clip, and then you will need a jumper wire. Now my jumper wires I've terminated with uh, or I, I use the ones that are terminated with the fourth prongs. You can use whatever you want. All you're going to do, this is how the RJ11 comes to you when you just go buy it from your hardware store. I've loosened these screws. I'm going to jump between the two green wires there that connects them. I've loosened the screw. I put the jumper in and then just simply tighten it down. And then on the other side, I'm going to put in my, my battery clip. So between our two red wires here, I'm going to attach our, um, our battery terminal. And then again, just tighten the screws down. And then simply you connect your nine volt battery there. And then on this side, you simply plug in phone one, you plug in the wire that goes from uh, here to the first phone, plug in a wire that goes from here to your second phone and that's it. You pick up one phone, uh, the person can pick up the other phone and they'll be able to talk to each other. Now, as I stated, there won't be any form of ringing because there's not enough power to do that, but you will get the, the telephone transmission, the sound transmission, just fine. If you wanted to add ringing, uh, the easiest way I found, or some type of signal, is to just add an LED that will light up when the circuit is complete. Um, just using a red LED doesn't really draw that much. You can power those uh, without having to go beyond a few nine volts to do that. Um, but this does make a portable system if you don't already have the ability to wire in a, a new system. Not that the wiring is complicated for the new system, but you know sometimes if you've got an old building, there can be difficulty in just running the wire through, or if you don't have a drop ceiling, or if you've got to fish things behind walls.